My sweet goats, how you doing? Look, a few weeks ago, I decided I was going to go ahead and put out a tweet where I asked you guys what your most unpopular video game opinion was. And then, of course, I turned it around on you guys and I said, hey, dum-dums, this is for internet numbnuts. Your opinions are sh**. And then I went and dunked on those opinions. I agreed with some, but for the most part, they were all bad. I'm, I, they really were. And I couldn't even get through all of them, which is why we're here again. We're going to go ahead and get through some more of those tweets. I really just want to see how stupid you guys can get. Really, it's just so ridiculous. Uh, how can you guys have these opinions? How can you guys have such bad opinions about a hobby that you spent so much time in? More than a hobby, actually. It's a, it's a, it's a way of life. How can you invest yourself in a way of life and be sh** it? Huh? How do you do that? Let's go and get to some of these tweets. We got Elvis the Alien here, okay? I had no idea until now that Elvis the Alien was such a bad f***ing gamer. Like, as far as I was concerned, this guy was just a cute boy. He's a cute boy on the internet, okay? But he's actually a really bad gamer. The Witcher 3's basic controls are so janky and awkward that it makes it practically unplayable. It's a shame because the rest of the game is so good. Look, I'm glad that you actually think that the game is good, so you get some points over there, but I don't understand what you mean about the controls here. The controls are fine, okay? They were just basic RPG controls, all right? You could, in fact, in terms of open world RPGs, you know, set in a high fantasy setting, Witcher 3 probably has the best controls out of that entire genre. We, we can't give it to the Skyrim, by the way. I know, I know a lot of people love Skyrim for some reason, but let's just be real here. Skyrim's controls are absolute shit. The game's combat is actual garbage, okay? As far as I'm concerned, The Witcher 3 was a bit of a godsend in that department, okay? So I don't know how you were playing the game. Maybe you were playing the arcade version. Maybe you were using one of those like long little stick thing, the joysticks. Were you using a flight stick to play the game? You were playing the game with the flight stick, weren't you, Elvis the Alien? Huh? Weren't you? Of course, because Elvis is talking about The Witcher 3, we have Grande weighing in saying that he is wrong. And there's no, he doesn't really need to add anything to it. He just says wrong. That's it. Leaves it at that. And at the end of the day, Elvis, he's right. You are wrong. You're quite wrong. Aw, oh, Daniel, my man. Daniel, you say it controls better than Skyrim, IMO. I mean, literally, you just, you can just be the most uneducated gamer and, and make that conclusion. But I appreciate you saying it regardless. I tried going back to Skyrim after Witcher 3 and it just felt off. Felt off is you being a very, 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 very easy on Skyrim. That game plays like shit. We got Mitri over here saying, ever since I got it on PC, I thought the exact same thing. How about you throw your PC in the fucking garbage, huh, buddy? Throw it in the garbage. You know, then we got Dolan Dark, who's a meme smith, okay? Uh, and he makes good memes, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, he might not have the best opinion. He, says, he said, Red Dead Redemption 2 put me to sleep. Of course it's gonna put you to sleep. You got the intellect of a fucking baby. It's too slow for you. It's like a, it's like a lullaby for you. It really is, you know? For me, it, uh, it was, it was a, an immersive experience that I, I sat through and I enjoyed and I experienced, you know? For you, your low IQ, I don't know what it did for you. <laughs> This is good. This one's a good one. <laughs> <coughs> Guys, I'm a little sick. But this is good. I really appreciate this meme. This meme was in reply to um, to Dolan Dark, and it was sent over by, uh, by James Strallo. Thank you, James. Thanks. Your memes put me to sleep! Oh, baby! That is real good, Mason. Thank you for putting Dolan in this place. Jonas over here says, totally agree with this. There's no actual game. It just plays itself. Maybe it plays itself. You play the game like a baby. If you want to challenge yourself and you want to get in people's faces, it doesn't play itself. You got to get in there. You got to get in the thick of things. All right. I don't know how you played, man. Maybe you played the whole left trigger, right trigger thing. Because the game does allow casual players to kind of, you know, have a casual experience. Or it could have been hardcore like me and roll in with a pump shot, you bro, and have a great time. Andrew here brings up a tweet that's actually pretty interesting. He says, me and my friends loved online, but after a few days, it just got boring since they never added anything. I wasn't a big fan of the online component of Red Dead, man. I'm being real here with you. Like, I wasn't a fan of the original uh, Red Dead Redemption online experience. I wasn't a fan of the second Red Dead Redemption online experience. It just, it just feels like a grind fest. It just feels like there's really nothing to do. There's no substance. And at the end of the day, it's not really as immersive because you got like fucking Pussy Slayer 2040 hanging out in, in town, you know, uh, barking at you or something. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of that. It's just, it's not, it's not, it's not for me. It's not for me. You got the Bleach Boys here and he says, toxicity in online games is a necessity and part of the fun against other teams, not within your own. It really depends on what your definition of toxicity is, honestly. If uh, toxicity just means a little bit of smack talk, then yeah, I guess toxicity is a part of games, but... If toxicity means like, you know, you're just going to be constantly racist with other people or just constantly say really f***ed up things to them, 
to demoralize them and make them feel really shitty about themselves, then I don't really think that it just belongs in video games at all. In fact, I think that it should probably be gone. That kind of stuff is just, it just doesn't really help anybody. Talking shit every now and then, you know, a little bit of smack talk, that's cool, okay? But when you go into the point where it gets really, really ugly and people are like, what the fuck am I even playing this game for? Then it gets kind of bad. That kind of shit needs to be weeded out of games. Ah, that's just what I think. But that's my definition of toxicity, you know? Someone may think that just general smack talk is toxic, at which point I'd be like, hey, bro, grow a pair. Seattle Totem says, it's more fun when it is in your team. It's not fun when it's in your team. I don't know, man, if you ever play Siege or anything like that, but it's really not fun when your team's just barking at you. You know, it's fun when the team's communicating and, you know, killing the enemy as opposed to killing each other. It's not fun. It really isn't fun when your team is toxic. It's just not, it's not how it works. Come on, bro. A uh, user here says, Metal Gear Sold 5 was trash. Uh, okay, I guess me, what, how, trash how? In terms of story, I would agree with you. In terms of gameplay, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. Metal Gear Solid 5 had the best stealth gameplay in any fucking stealth game ever. Honestly, it really is. It was the ultimate stealth game. So I think that you just calling it trash is kind of ridiculous. I think you're just trying to incite a reaction for me because you know I like Metal Gear Solid 5. You know that I like that game for its gameplay. For its gameplay, not the story. In terms of Metal Gear Solid stories, everybody knows that Metal Gear Solid 3 was the best story. Some people may argue too. Some people may argue some some, some other shit. Peace Walker or some garbage all that. Metal Gear Solid 3, best story in the series. Resident Evil 4 only works on the Wii? What's wrong with you? Alien Isolation is average at best. It wasn't scary, focused too little on the alien, and went on way too long. What are you talking about, bro? I spent 90% of that time sh my pants because the alien was around the corner. How did you play the game? Maybe you got lucky. Maybe you just had the map memorized. Maybe you just had the game memorized. Maybe you're just one of those cool speedrunner dudes that knows exactly where to go in the game. Maybe you're the best gamer in the world where you got to juke the fucking alien every time. But I know that in my first playthrough, I was shitting breaks because the alien was right around the corner and sometimes they just sneak up on me when I didn't even know it was there. Crazy. All right, it was a great game. Don't don't call it average, okay? Get out of here with that shit. This is an opinion that I kind of like here and it's uh, good graphics is an arms race that serves only to increase the cost of gaming and hardware and software for diminishing returns. I kind of see what you're saying here. There's a lot of lot of time has been spent within the last 20 years just improving the graphics quality of games. There's very little innovation being done in terms of actual gameplay, but I think that's coming soon. It's going to come soon. With it, the 2020s, I'm telling you, the 2020s, it's going to be a great, great decade for gaming. I promise. Prince of Persia is better than Assassin's Creed. I kind of agree with that, man. I want them to make another Prince of Persia game. I would love for them to even just remake Warrior Within minus Godsmack. If they got rid of Godsmack from Warrior Within, it would be a 10 out of 10 game. That game was an 8 out of 10 for me because it had fucking shitty Godsmack. Playing every time the Dahaka showed up. Come on, like really? Did that need to happen? Was that something that needed to happen every time? I didn't need to have to hear those fucking weirdos sing that's it my sweet goats thank you so much for watching this video look uh if i did end up uh hurting your feelings all right i, I really hope that wasn't the case this is all this is all good fun okay i don't hate you for your garbage opinions all right if you did enjoy this video please feel free to go ahead leave a like hit the sub button and ding that bell icon if you want to see me more often you can go ahead and follow me on twitch.tv slash mr bunty king where i'm trying to stream at least five days a week it's been a real good time. I'd love to see you drop by. Until next time, I love you. Have a good one. And here's a, here's a little clip from my, my Twitch streams. Enjoy. So before we dive into this clip, I just want to give you a bit of context here. This was during a live stream after several hours of getting absolutely shit on. As you can tell from my face, I don't look too happy. But at some point in this match, pretty much at the beginning of the match, I just, something locked into place. I was like, oh. This is what needs to happen. And the game just started clicking with me. And you'll see at the end of this clip, uh, I killed someone quite interesting. I didn't uh, didn't expect him to be around, but he was. And it was my first time encountering him. So just go ahead and watch this pretty exciting gameplay. You guys are dropping the in there? Yeah, okay. Who's going for fast games then, Jamie? We got another squad coming in. Yeah, definitely land near each other. Fucking. Oh. Okay. Above you, right there. 
Oh, on me, on me, on me. I know, I'm with you. He's weak, he's, he's weak. Down. Nice. Again, this one hurt. Hold on. First blood. Just keep it on. They might be watching you. They're watching me? Thank you. You just got sights on me. Stay on, honey. Let's push him, he's got a gun. Reloading. Please tell me. I'm just dropping the entire unit. Hell yeah. yeah. We're good. Healing my wounds. Reloading. Yeah, like you're just gonna just come inside. I'll tear one fire. Ugh. Take it out again. Fine, you good? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll just take a pot shot. I don't know I exist. I'll like you out front, two out front. Oh, me one. Front for anybody. Nice. Oh, but they killed Ninja. Full squad down. Wait. Turns out, it was the real Ninja. That's the first time I met him. The first time I met him in a game, I clapped him. Doctor Disrespect, Shroud, all these guys—they're next. All of them are next. I'm coming for all the top streamers. I'll get them all.